Hello, it's Leah Bosby at Blackfish Finance here with Travis Denham again, real estate. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Thursday Update. So today we are going to talk about auctions. There's a yep. few happening in the market at the moment. There is. Um, and we have very different experiences as a finance broker and a real estate agent. Yep. So we're just going to talk to you about it from both ends of the perspective with our clients buying them and our clients selling them, um, what that looks like. So certainly for, from a finance perspective, so it is high risk for my clients. So even if you've got pre-approval, the bank will still do evaluation. Mm -hmm. They still might need updated pay slips and mortgage insurance. So there are certainly um, some that are, some clients that it's particularly high risk for. Yep. So tell me um, what happens on auction day. What does the client need to be ready for? What would you sort of warn someone about coming to auction? Yep. Um, just to be the best devil's advocate. Yeah, so yep. we've got buyers. So we've just launched an auction campaign this week, a yep. uh, new property in Summerland Park. So the first thing, the first thing that happens is we don't usually put a price on our auctions. So we get 25, 30 emails and phone calls saying what price. So we'll help educate the buyers. A lot of a lot of agents will do an auction campaign and quite often they'll quote the price because we want to get as much, many people registered, because the theory is the excitement on the day will help the, book, the bidders go higher than maybe where they plan to. Um, on the day, they need to. You definitely need to have your deposit amount. So obviously, normally it's ten percent, unless you do a variation of terms prior to auction. Usually, that's a conversation we'd have with the buyer prior to the day. Okay. So they've viewed it once or twice on the leader. Then they might say, "Hey, listen, you know the property's worth. Let's say it's worth about one one point one million. They might say, "Hey, would fifty thousand dollar deposit be okay? We'll have a check ready made with that amount on it, and we'll sign off on that." Obviously, that the buyer has to be prepared to settle in 30 days. That's standard option terms too. You can get variations to that, but most still run in 30 days. And it has to be an unconditional contract, which means if you look, a lot of our buyers are still borrowing money. Yeah. But you generally find the, you know, if it's a property that's you know up around a million or, or you know give or take 800 or plus, generally those buyers aren't probably borrowing 80 or 90 percent. Yeah. But there's still that's not for me to work out. That's for you to work out, yeah. right? Um, and no cooling off period. That's the other thing. So when the hammer falls, you bought it. No there, is no, there is no yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. And that's no matter what. If you lose your job, anything happens, you lose your deposit. Um, and the ramifications can be fairly large, can't they? Because yeah. if they have to then resell, correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, if they have to then resell um, and they made a loss, yeah. you're, you could be up to that loss. Yeah, Jeff. Well, and say you took a $100,000 deposit, yeah. you sold it on a hammer for a million, $100,000 deposit. They can't buy anymore. We resell for nine forty. We get sixty grand out of the hundred. They get the rest back. Okay. And yeah. if it's worse, then potentially they could end up. They can go for more. Money. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So interesting thing that you just said about deposit. Um, so you know, uh, we certainly have clients in all price ranges. Yeah. What happens when uh, you want a ten percent deposit for a five hundred thousand dollars house, yep. but we're doing a family guarantee? Yeah. So I say to you, Trav, we've only got twenty grand. Yeah. That just all has to be negotiated ahead of time. Correct. With an auction, definitely. Yeah. Or even with a private treaty as well. Yeah. It goes into the contract, but yeah, yeah just keep like like anything, keep talking to us. And look, we ask as a good agent, we ask all those questions. Yeah. We make sure if somebody says they're coming to the auction now. Do you know you're going to need this much deposit? Do you know it's to, we make sure they're aware of everything they're getting them. So when they're going to yeah. let a buyer blindly walk down, put their hand up, they can't buy the property. Yeah. yeah. And so if you are thinking about going auction, make sure you speak to me. If you want to go to auction and it's not even one Travis selling, which is there's not many in that way, let's face it. Well, yes. um, but if it's not, Travis still happy to be your guru, like, and that's the great thing and the way we do love doing business. We're still your guru, even if we're not your particular finance broker or your agent. Yeah. We'll help you, we'll walk you through it, we'll explain the process. We've even had one that a client couldn't attend auction. They rang you yeah. and say, hey, what couldn't we do? Like, yeah. you know, how do yeah. we send someone else along? Yeah. So any questions about auctions, let us know. We'll explain the risk. We'll ex explain how we can get around the risk yep. and we'll help it be as calm as possible because it is a fairly stressful way to <laughs> buy and sell property, That's but right. it's an exciting way to get a quick result. Yeah. Have a good day. Thanks, see ya.